Yeah, I've been actually carving full time now for about 11 years. Why don't you explain a little bit about the wood you use and the finish, and, and certainly this is really your trademark right here, and that's just a beautiful touch to that. So. Yeah, the jeweled fins. Uh, I don't know. I. I'd seen it done on gun bolts, and they, they make the reflective tape that you can actually put on fishing lures uh, with that look. Explain, now you actually traced a pattern from a real fish for this yeah, one, is that correct? Yeah, it's a tulipy. It came out of uh, Clitheroe Lake, it's just about 20 miles mm -hmm. from there. This actually fits uh, what I call the totem series. This may be the one I've got the elephant on, I'm not sure. I have to take a look at it <laughs> once, an elephant on it. Yeah, right here. You have to look oh, at yeah. it. So what, well, that's what's unique. If you start <laughs> rotating this decoy, if you can see, the spear right there, and um, <laughs> antelope, and antelope yeah. overhead, and just amazing. Once you start looking, what's on this? Uh, this trout here is um, all northerns. Uh, a fellow from Michigan uh, ordered that. This uh, this is a box that uh, that the fish actually fits down in. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, every, just about every carver says, "Oh yeah, my my fish they all swim." Well, mm -hmm. so this winter I have to take a couple of these out and dunk them. It's hard to s stick one of your decoys in the lake, though. 